Welcome to Dumpster Diving, where we look at something horrible from the past. Today, home improvement. Tim and Al are on location at Tim's house showing people how to protect their property because a blizzard is coming. Tim climbs up a tree because he forgets that trees are made of wood and can be damaged by wind, and he falls into his gazebo. While climbing out of the rubble, Al notices a baggie taped to the bottom of a chair. Al thinks it's a baggie of oregano because Al doesn't party, he's square. Tim confirms it's pot and Al freaks out because his fingerprints are on it and he's going to jail for life. Tim tells him to chill and that even smuggling 650 grams of cocaine won't get you a life sentence if you snitch on the right people. Al is still nervous thinking that Chris Hansen is right around the corner. Tim shows Jill the baggie and she takes a big whiff. Oh my god, it's marijuana. It's right. If you look closely, you can see her eyes momentarily shine green. They don't know which of their boys is smoking the green goddess, so Tim comes up with a plan. They'll hide in Wilson, the original creeper's yard, and see who comes for the devil's lettuce. The tailors are freezing in 10 degree weather, and Wilson is insinuating that he fathered the boys through a hole in the fence. We have been so much more open with them than our parents were with us. We communicated with we them. We respected them. Where did we go wrong? Finally, someone comes out and the camera slowly pans up to reveal, it's Brad. Because of course it's Brad. JTT was the golden boy all the girls loved, and no one cared about Mark at all. He's only on camera for one second in this episode, and he has no dialogue. Brad tells his parents he's holding the drugs for a friend because he's seen after-school specials. Tim and Jill tell him to cut the shit, and he admits to smoking the occasional kush stick. He only does it at parties. Then he turns things around on his parents, saying he's sure they celebrated 420. Tim says all he did was drink beer, and he sends him to his room. Jill feels guilty because she rolled like Snoop Dogg back in the day. She wants to be honest with Brad, but Tim says it's better to just tell so many lies no one knows what the truth is anymore. They call Brad back down, and Jill tells him the story of when she smoked weed laced with something and ended up in the hospital. Brad sees the error of his ways and agrees to stop smoking, and Jill saves that chronic for a rainy day. Thanks for watching this episode of Dumpster Diving. Come back every Thursday for more Dumpster Diving, every Monday for Trump Explains Classics, and every Tuesday for deleted chapters from famous novels. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment on this video, check our description for our social media handles and other websites of interest. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.